Hey everyone, my name is Seth Hawkins. I'm a community forester for the Georgia Forestry Commission. Hi there, I'm Chelsea York and I'm the Education Coordinator with the Georgia Forestry Commission. And we're here today to talk to you a little bit more about trees, their importance in our everyday lives, and in our communities. Did you know that Georgia is the number one forested state in the nation? So Seth, can you tell us a little bit more about what that looks like? Sure, Chelsea. So two thirds of the state of Georgia is actually covered in forest. And we harvest more wood in Georgia than any other state in the country. We also grow back more trees than we harvest every year. And all of that forestry activity generates over $36 billion a year in revenue in the state of Georgia and creates over 141,000 jobs. So odds are someone in your class might know someone that works in forestry. Georgia's situated in a perfect spot with plenty of good rainfall, a nice growing season, access to ports and sawmills. So forestry really is a perfect fit in Georgia. But trees do so much more for us and in our communities. So trees in our communities help to clean the water that we drink and swim in. They help to clean the air that we breathe. Trees create tons of wood products that we use every day in our lives. Trees also make our communities happier, healthier, safer places to live. And trees also provide homes and food for our wildlife neighbors and friends. That's awesome. Now come join us as we branch out and explore these areas a little bit more. So trees play a huge role in stormwater management in our communities. As rain falls, trees help to soak up that extra water so it doesn't turn into drainage issues or flooding. And trees actually help to clean that water during that process. It's pretty awesome. Did you know that two out of three raindrops in Georgia actually lands on a tree? And that one large tree can soak up 10,000 gallons of water in one growing season. So you can see how important trees are in stormwater management in our communities. So let's talk to Chelsea about the air we breathe and what role trees play there. All right, everyone, what I need you to do now is take a deep breath in and let it out. Our trees and plants provide us with clean air. And this is done through a process called photosynthesis. Photosynthesis is the process where our green trees and plants take in carbon dioxide from the atmosphere and water and use that to create food for the tree. And in return, it releases clean air and oxygen back into the atmosphere for us to breathe. Now in Georgia, we have over 22 million acres of forested land. And did you know that only one, just one acre, can provide enough clean air for 18 people for a day? So think about that. How many people can Georgia's forests provide clean air for? Not only do our trees provide us with clean air, but they also provide us with a multitude of other benefits. So let's go explore how our trees benefit us in our communities. Trees also do a lot of work to make our communities happier, healthier, and safer places to live, work, and enjoy. Did you know that shade trees planted in the right places around your home can cut your family's air conditioning bills almost in half? And shade trees out on playgrounds, parks, and yards make them a lot happier places and cooler places to hang out and play. Did you also know that trees do a lot of work to keep us healthy? If you're ever sick and you can simply see a tree at your window, you're gonna get over being sick a little faster. And let's all agree, sick or not, trees are beautiful to just sit back and appreciate the beauty of. So let's talk a little bit more about some of the wood products we get from the forest. So question, how many of you have used toilet paper today? Hopefully everyone just said yes. Our toilet paper, notebook paper, pencils, books, even the wood and lumber like in the home you see here, are all some basic products that we get from trees. But it doesn't stop there. You can also find elements, also known as byproducts, in many other daily items, such as chewing gum and cardboard boxes, even your toothpaste and ice cream, and in your smartphone screens. Not only do our trees provide us with products in our daily lives, but they also provide a beautiful habitat for the wildlife in Georgia. Let's not forget all the hard work that trees do for wildlife in our communities. By providing food and habitat to the many animal species that call Georgia's communities and wildland urban interface areas home, trees really do their part to support a healthy ecosystem. 
Georgia's creeks, rivers, marshes, swamps, forests, even the trees in your parks and yards provide valuable food and habitat for wildlife species. So what is habitat? If you said that habitat is a place that provides all the things that a plant or animal needs to survive, i.e. food, water, shelter, then you'd be correct. So remember, when you're looking at trees in your community, don't forget that they're not only working hard for us, but also working hard for our wildlife neighbors and friends. So we've learned a lot today about the importance of forests in Georgia and in our communities. It's important for us all to do our part to continue to learn about Georgia's forests and do everything we can to keep our forests happy and healthy. If you'd like to learn more about anything we've talked about today or many other tree care topics, you can visit our website at gatrees.org and there's a ton of great resources there.